But first, protesters are gathering in the city this morning angry about 76 construction union members being fined for attending a jobs rally last year. Alicia Kennedy is in the city. Alicia, good morning to you. Now, these workers are individually facing fines of up to $10,000 or more each. That's right, Tim. 76 CFMEU workers have been charged after attending a rally outside Premier Colin Barnett's office in February last year. Joining me now is Dave Noonan, the National Secretary of the CFMEU. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Can you tell me, were the workers surprised to get these charges a year after the rally occurred? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think they were shocked and, and dismayed by this. Uh, first of all, it's important to notice that this was a peaceful rally. It was a rally in support of Australian apprenticeships and jobs. Uh, people uh, were saying, uh, there were 5,000 workers there saying uh, that the community expected uh, that we get apprenticeships out of the minerals boom for young Australians and we get jobs for Australian workers and uh, not just uh, jobs for people on 457 visas. Now, uh, 12 months later, the Commonwealth Government is taking legal action against these workers. Uh, 76 out of 5,000. Uh, there's no good reason why that's happened and the particular workers in question have got no uh, issue with their employer. The vast majority are still working for the same employer. So what are you going to be saying? You're going to be addressing these workers quite soon. What are you going to be saying to them before they head into court? I, I'm going to be saying that it's a disgrace that we've got an Australian government that won't stand up for Australian jobs, an Australian government that won't stand up for Australian apprenticeships and that puts all its resources into prosecuting workers who go to a rally uh, to defend Australian living standards, Australian apprenticeships and Australian jobs. Twelve months after the rally took place, a peaceful rally, a rally which occurred in good spirits, uh, 5,000 people there, 76 workers are singled out for prosecution uh, by the Commonwealth Government. And uh, really, we, we, could, we should expect a lot more of Mr Abbott and his government than this sort of vindictive behaviour. So do you think this is setting a precedent for workers' freedoms and rights? Well, absolutely. It's an attempt uh, to intimidate workers, uh, to say that if you disagree with Tony Abbott's uh, 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 Tony Abbott's policies, uh, you know, to really uh, bring in lots of workers on temporary work visas, to force down wages and conditions. If you're going to make a stand for Australian apprentices, then the government will take action against you. Uh, this is about trying to split the workforce up, weaken the workforce and pave a way uh, for, the, for the return of work choices and cuts in wages and conditions. And what we're saying to workers is, don't be intimidated, stick together, uh, everything that's been won in this nation has been won uh, by collective action, uh, by working people. That's what trade unions are for. And uh, these workers' union, the CFMEU, stands 100% behind them as they go through this difficult time. Great. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Tim, most of those workers will head into the federal court in about an hour's time. And we'll bring you more on what's happening here this afternoon in our bulletins.